what is a normal publishing agreement to see from someone that has some kind of pull? Because we get hit up from random people every once in a while. Well, usually what you want to be doing is what he was trying to do with your artists. Yeah. You want to set up, you want to set up a publishing company and then you and the artists are, are partners. So oh, that's essentially, so company. essentially what he was trying to do is what I'm suggesting that you do. Okay. And that's all of that is going to tie into the management, the publishing copyright agreement. Yeah. And once y'all are partners in that publishing entity, he's a writer under that publishing company. You can also be a writer under that publishing company. And, um, you know, and, and at that point, um, if a, another co-publisher came along, like a major, like Sony ATV, yeah, y'all had like a hit song or a song that was, that was getting some traction and they, they projected that it was going to make X amount of dollars in the next five years. They, yeah. may, they may offer you an advance that advance is going to be dependent on how much the song is generated at the current time and mm -hmm. their speculations. They have it down to a science of how much a song is going to perform based off of how it's, you know, they just, they just have it down to the science based off of the history of publishing all these songs. So they'll offer you usually to sign an artist, so like a co-publishing deal, they'll yeah. offer like fifty thousand dollars. That's mm -hmm. like the minimum. That's like the minimum. They'll give you like twenty five thousand up front, mm -hmm. and then they'll give you the other twenty five thousand after you uh, fulfill the first uh, the first term of some shit, the first six months of the first year after you submit uh, X amount of songs and fulfill that term. They may then they'll give you the other fifty thousand, and then you know it, it it depends. It may be like. The deal may be a total of a three hundred thousand dollar deal or four hundred thousand dollar deal, but it will be over a five year period, and then you will get more and more money as the term goes through. Um, but sometimes you could be in a situation where you take an advance, but then you don't recoup the money back. You know, they, you may they may give you a big a hundred thousand dollar advance, and then your song just only made sixty thousand, so now you're forty thousand in the negative, and um, you know, it's, it, it ha that shit happens all the time. But usually, like a first-time artist, they'll offer like fifty thousand dollars to do a co-publishing deal for like usually five years. And it depends on how hot you are and how how hot your catalog is. If you just got one song, they can only offer you so much because they they're basically just advancing money based off of future sales. Right, and I I necessarily like if someone offered me fifty thousand dollars, I don't necessarily need to take that deal. Like that's that's yeah, you know, you you better off um, to tell you the truth. See, the only advantage in taking the fifty thousand is now you're in the net of right. this big company, Sony mm -hmm. HP. They got all these produ top notch producers signed, and they have access to all these studios, and they can put you. A lot of times, if you're a hot writer. They'll put it's you the manpower. With, huh? It's the manpower they have. Yeah, and they'll put your artist with the fucking hottest producer, and now, you know, you you got a hit song with through the connection. So now you're splitting the money with them, but now you got a partner. Now it's in their best interest to make sure you become rich. Because if you become rich, they become rich. So right. it's like, damn, yeah, I'm giving up fifty percent of my money, but now I'm partners with the biggest uh, publishing company in the world. Even if I have, you know, uh, you know, if they want ownership in, in those copyrights and those songs and the publishing. And the more they own, the more they're going to push that catalog or push that song because, like I said, it's in their best interest. So, you know, you got to weigh it out. Like, you know, if I, if I go back in time, I wouldn't have signed my publishing deal. No. I just got out of I'm about to get out of a publishing deal. In um, November, November fifteenth, mm -hmm. it's a five-year publishing deal. And if I could go back in time, I wouldn't have signed that shit. Yeah, I wouldn't have signed that shit. I gave up like I gave up half my money. Right. And and the thing was, they already had like sixty-five percent in the song. They just wanted my they wanted my extra sixteen percent or whatever I had, just so that they could have more stake. 
so that they right. can make more money. Because ultimately, they if they have five people all signed to that same publishing company, they own 50% of five people, they own more than all of us. So, yeah, so I, I signed over because they offered me they offered me a check. So I took the check, but I didn't even realize I was giving up half of my money for twenty five thousand dollars. Like at the time, I was like, "Oh yeah, you're gonna give me twenty five thousand? I, I was like, "Say no more." I didn't even want to, and I'm gonna be partners with the biggest publishing company. They're gonna be setting me up with producers. Here, where's the where, where do I sign? You right. know. So I signed the deal, and um. I would I, I wouldn't have did it if I go back in time. I wouldn't have did it. I would have made way more money. I'd be a lot richer right now. But it, it it was a learning experience, and it was just for one song. I didn't do a a big publishing deal with them where they own my shit for own my whole catalog. It was just for one song. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I gave up fifty percent. So you just gotta weigh your options. Sometimes you could just sell. You could just do a one off deal or for one song. You don't have to give up all your rights your whole catalog that's what you kind of want to be setting up with your artist because you are his main publisher and you're the one investing the money and the time so you want to have a situation where you're getting in on publishing over a long time but you don't want to be letting other people get in on publishing right. for a long time. you want to be the one as his co-publisher you're supposed to be the brain you'd tell you'd be like well you're they're saying they want five years you're like three years you know what i mean you're or right. 50,000 or 75,000, you know, so that's what your job will be as his co-publisher because if you let him walk in by himself, he's just going to get pushed the fuck over. So, um, you know, do some research on like publishing, publishing deals and, you know, it's just, it's cool to do research on that topic because every, I'm still learning about this shit. Like there's so many different type of royalties, um, mechanical royalties, there's goddamn sync royalties. Mm-hmm. It's all these. It's so it's just good to just be up on that because a lot of people never really take the time to learn about publishing, and it's sad because a lot of people are getting fucked over because they don't really know how publishing works. Um, right. I, I guarantee, like the majority of these new young producers, they got money all over the place and they're not collecting it. Hundreds right. of thousands, of millions of dollars just sitting there, and they're not collecting it because they don't know how to set up an LLC, or you know, they don't have someone like you or me to help them, you know, through, you know, set up their publishing entities and shit, so. Right. So, like, a question would be, um, do you do you have a separate business for your management company, publishing company, and all that stuff? Is it all encompassed into one LLC, or is it multiple? I got a few publishing companies. I have two publishing companies right now. Do you do I- that with each artist that you'd work with? Um... Yeah, you well you you can you could you could do that you could do um you could do that actually or you could put it all under one well you can only have one oh you could have multiple it's per LLC so you could have as many publishing companies as you fucking want you could have a publishing company you could make a publishing company for just one song mm-hmm. and just say oh that was for that one song mm-hmm. um, it's just you just have to set up a different LLC. Okay. It's, it's all on how you want to do it. You could have um, some people may for a lawyer or an accountant may say, yeah, you might want to set up a different LLC for each type of business you're doing for liability sake. You know, yep. a touring business, some fucking girl gets trampled. Uh, there's a stampede and shit and someone gets fucked up in your touring business. Your publishing business doesn't get tapped. So, you know, shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Have you ever had to like close a publishing company with someone? Like, have you ever had issues and then have to close the company, or do they just stay open no matter what, even if you had a issue with the artist? Because I know, like in normal business, if someone wants to get out of a company, they can. Yeah, well, when you do when you do a, a deal with somebody, it's usually for a set amount of time, or it's indefinite. So if it's indefinite, then once those, once those songs are registered and y'all put those out, it's it's over. Unless, you know, motherfuckers want to go to court. But use it's, once those papers are signed, that shit is in history, you know. Yep. And then I guess you can give, you could give someone a piece of yours and add them on if you want. And you could do whatever you want, but that's yours. It's like your property. Yeah, 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 yeah. You whatever you want with your piece of land. Um, 
Yeah, yeah. It's, you, you could, um, what, was, what was the question again? I brain froze for a second. So, like, if, if someone, if, if you had, like, a torturous interference and someone wanted to get out of the publishing deal with you, but... Yeah, you, you answered it by just saying the length of the contract. Yeah, it's for a contract. It's like, if you want to get out the contract, then we gonna, I'm going to have to sue you, and, you know, you, you sign this, you know? Right. So, um, yeah, yeah. So that's that's why um, <laughs> some people, like, <laughs> like people have been known, like, in the past, like, when they say, oh, record industry, people are shady. Like, people have done deals where they gave up their shit for life. Like, right. Like just and they didn't know they didn't even know what it meant and they signed it and fucking owned your shit for life. But some but sometimes it's you know the publishing company put the money up. They they gave you money. They made you a star. They put you with the producers and right. Yeah, you, you, There's you, a cost for that. You got that big ass advance and you know a lot of times they don't tell a full story. Like you know you're still rich. You just realize you could have been richer. So now right. you're bad. But it's like you know. 